after that impromptu break, Tony Masterberg rejoins it. You you are dressed for everything. The office, the gym, you got there it you all. Go. I got it all going on together. That's how you got to do it nowadays when you're moving around. All right. Could you, uh, at, back in your day, up against what you saw tonight from Bruno, how would you have done? Oh, I love that. Bruno plays the game a lot like I played the game. Yep. He plays from the inside out. And there are not a lot of guys that still do that. And I was just telling my friend when I saw him throw that nice little 10-foot jump hook down here, I said, that's a shot I made a living on at Maryland. And so it's nice to see some guys being able to take it back to playing inside in a new era of space and pace. Oh, yeah. And it, it it's working. And you got the other guys who can play around that. Yeah. He made a pass from near the line into Ayala. Yeah. That was an Ayala Phenomenal pass. Gets fouled and yep. boom. Phenomenal pass. And yep. that's why I think he's going to be good at the next level. Yep. Bruno has a real skill set. He can play yes. inside, can play outside. He's very athletic. And he's a guy that can pass the ball, as you just said. Right. Uh, Jeff Baxter said that he reminded, today, he reminded him of you. Yeah, so you yeah. well, it's funny that Jeff said that because I was literally sitting over there and like, wow, you know, that, that actually, those are my moves that yeah. I used to do when I was here. Right. So it's nice to see a guy that's going to be a big-time player right. playing some old-school basketball. All right. This is Mason Miner. Listen to the Young Terps podcast on CapitalSportsBlog.com and TerpTalk.com, the number one rated Maryland sports podcast. Meyer Consulting Engineers. In the past five years, our organization has completed over 1,300 projects in the U.S. and abroad, including many structures at the University of Maryland. For structural engineering and materials testing and inspection, call Meyer Consulting Engineers. All right, Mace. Ricky Lindo, he's not much on offense right now, but he gets it done on defense. He gets the rebounds. Can you talk about how he's gotten better as the season goes on? Well, that's what it's all about. And when you play the roles, again, everybody can't be scorers. Everybody can't be the, the, the main guy. But when you're one of those guys that is counted upon to do certain things and play a role like rebounding, which is extremely important in defending, those things are very important. So the fact that he embraces that role, you like that, and you know that the other things are going to come. Right, and they use him as a flex defender. They put him in to take care of Lineford at the end. There you go, and that's the that's the versatility. And any guy that's able to guard yeah. multiple positions yeah. like that, that makes a big difference. That's very valuable to any team at any level. Now I know that Ricky Lindo is not Joe Smith, and I remember coming in after a football game and watching a scrimmage a long time ago and go, who in the world is that? It was Joe Smith? Yeah. I came in here for media day and watched Linda run up and down the court and said. Who's that? Yeah. That guy's yeah. special. Yeah, yeah. You, you see the talent yeah. and you see the, 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 the ability to do a lot of things on the court and make a difference. And, again, that's really what it's all about. But you got to find your role and accept it and make a difference. All right. Well, we thank you. I know you got to go. That is Maryland all-time great Tony Massenberg. That's Mason. I'm Wayne. We will see you. Bruce will see you on the radio tomorrow on 1300 CBS Sports Radio. And we'll be back on Monday night after the Maryland-Wisconsin game. Good evening.